Hallam Nuclear Power Facility is located in the central United States near the town of Hallam in the state of Nebraska. The most advanced utility nuclear power plant in the nation, it was built by the Atomic Energy Commission and the Consumers Public Power District of Nebraska. Hallam is operated by consumers under the Atomic Energy Commission Power Demonstration Reactor Program. At 252,000 thermal kilowatts, its sodium graphite reactor produces 79,400 net kilowatts of electricity. Feasibility of the sodium graphite concept was established by the sodium reactor experiment, built and operated since 1957 near Los Angeles, California, by Atomics International for the Atomic Energy Commission. As a result of experience gained from sodium reactor experiment operation, Atomics International was assigned overall technical responsibility for the design of Hallam, the first central station sodium graphite reactor plant. The core of the Hallam reactor is contained in a stainless steel tank. Metallic uranium alloy fuel contained in clusters of stainless steel tubes is suspended in the core. Stainless steel clad graphite moderator elements surround the fuel elements. Liquid sodium serves as the coolant and heat transfer medium. From the bottom of the reactor vessel, the sodium flows up past the hot fuel elements to an upper pool, then out of the vessel at a temperature of approximately 950 degrees Fahrenheit. The primary sodium coolant becomes radioactive during its passage through the core. This radioactive sodium is pumped through three identical primary loops to intermediate heat exchangers and returned to the reactor vessel at approximately 600 degrees Fahrenheit to repeat the cycle. The heat carried by the sodium in the primary loops is transferred by the intermediate heat exchangers to the three secondary sodium loops, which are non-radioactive. The heat from the secondary non-radioactive loops is fed to three steam generators, producing steam to turn the conventional turbine generator. In January 1962, the reactor was placed in operation for the first time in dry, critical, low power tests. Wet, critical, and low power tests were started in August 1962. Reliability of the control and safety equipment was determined and verified with each increase in power. In May 1963, electricity produced by the Hallam Nuclear Power Facility began flowing through power lines. Operation of the nuclear plant has been smooth, responsive, and reliable. The plant follows load automatically. Outstanding heat transfer characteristics of sodium coolant make the sodium graphite concept particularly suitable to follow rapid load swings. Steam turbine inlet conditions of 850 degrees Fahrenheit and 850 PSIG, highest temperature of any electric utility nuclear plant, remain essentially constant at all loads above 25% of full power. During a typical three months of commercial operation, more than 100 million kilowatt hours of electricity were generated by the nuclear facility with a plant availability of over 99%. Fuel is transferred by a 250 ton handling machine. A fuel element can be replaced without cool down in a matter of a few hours. 
The reactor is presently fueled with 140 metallic uranium molybdenum elements and 10 uranium carbide elements. Uranium carbide elements have been irradiated in the sodium reactor experiment and hallum. Indications are that uranium carbide fuel will attain long life and low fuel costs. The Hallam second core loading will be all uranium carbide fuel. Operation and maintenance of Hallam sodium systems has been simple and straightforward. The sodium has been handled as safely and efficiently as any common industrial liquid. The entire Hallam nuclear power facility has been reliable and stable. As a result, more advanced sodium graphite nuclear plants of larger capacity and higher efficiency have been designed and are ready for construction to assist in serving the growing power demands of the United States.